Hi dear viewers, welcome back to my new video. In this video, we are going to see switch case. Basically, we will understand how switch case works and what is this switch. So we will take two numbers. Basically, we have a question in our lab. Like we will take two numbers and we'll do an operation based on the operation which user has provided. It might be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division or modulo, anything. So based on that, we'll do that. For that, first we will take two numbers. In initialization is we need to take the numbers using scanf as you know that. Then after taking these numbers, what we'll do, we will just store them and we'll also use a double to to um, whatever the answer is that it has created so we need to store that as well right so for that we'll have a double and also we need an operation so we, we, one character is needed so we will take that as well using scanf okay so everything will be taken using scanf now we will use a switch operation so switch will take an um, a value so it might be a character it might be an integer anything it might be so it will take a value and it will compare with the cases whatever the cases we will be writing so if it is plus then we, it is a case so since this uh, uh, plus is a character, we will write in single quotes or double quotes anything. You can use it out and based on that, you can write that and we do an operation and write a printf and every switch case will have a break. So that case is done and then it, it will be breaking out. We will be break that case. Okay. Otherwise it will again go for the next cases as well and it will check with the for the other things. So we don't need that. So once it is once the K, uh, operation is matched, so plus or minus or modulo anything is matched then do that operation and come out of the switch case so switch has a loop so in that loop we will have cases and we will also have a default case so let me write down all the cases like plus minus multiplication then also we will have divide then we will have modulo so whatever it has mentioned in the JNTU lab book or equation just I'm mentioning all those and then we'll have a default case like default in this we will write like the anything is not matched then the operation which you have entered is not proper so please enter a new operation so something like that and then we'll execute the program okay so here i execute the program then it will be i'll enter the value as three and two here i got an error yeah okay to take a character we need to add space so and then we take we need to take that character so i've added plus though here you got your 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 that's all simple video you can use multiple things you can use multiple operators and then you can use it that's all for this video hope you have liked this video please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you for watching